you gave me goosebumps actually. Did you just kind of, I kind of withdrew, slide over <laughs> and make room. I love that. Slide over, make room, reach back, pull up, do exactly. anything you can. Lifting as we climb. We are here in the LinkedIn headquarters in New York City, and we are sitting here with Victoria Russell, who is the Chief of Diversity equity and inclusion for Papa John's. Tell us a little bit about your role. Yes, it's a very long title because it's a very important role. So while many organizations understand diversity, they understand inclusion, I think it's really important that we also have a focus on equity. Often it's confused with equality. It is not the same thing. Equity is not about treating everyone the same. It's about correcting the imbalances for these groups of people to make sure that we are all treated fairly. One of the examples I love that I've seen before used and I love it is, you know, you've got three people standing over at a fence, looking over the fence, they're all different heights. Uh, equality would be to give everyone the same box to stand on. Equity would be giving each one a different box so that they stand on it and all can see at the same height together. So I think, you know, correcting those imbalances in the organization, first you have to identify them and understand what they are. Um, that takes a lot of effort, a lot of work to do it, but once you do it, you start to fix that and you create a, a culture that everyone feels they can bring their whole selves to work. What is it about your job you love the most? Because there's got to be tough days and good days. You know, it's it's really tough. Sometimes feeling alone, it can be very isolating. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the first African American on our leadership team for Papa John's, and so while that is an enormous a challenge, I'm very excited. It can be a little difficult at times. And so I think it's really important to find those networks inside and outside the building. Building that mentorship, coaching relationships with other people that, you know, others have gone through this before. There's no sense in recreating the wheel. Um, I always refer to this community as my village of people mm -hmm. that, you know, it takes all of us to do this work and to keep uplifting one another, encouraging one another. Um, I think that's really important for sustainable success in the space. Is there, are there any tips or tricks that you have for others who are feeling the way that you're feeling or trying to advance in their careers on some of the things that they can learn from what you've gone through? Sure, you know, I love the organization. I've been at the company now 13 years. So mm -hmm. I've, I've always loved the culture of the company in terms of the family that I had. But you know, we can always do better. And I think it's important that once you know better, that you do better. To have the opportunity to be in a position to push a global brand is exciting. And I think, you know, what I have quickly found, there are many people who their voices maybe weren't always heard. And how do we kind of allow the space for people to be heard, to step up, to have input, and really contribute to the growth of the company? And that's been exciting. We've done that through our employee resource groups, allowing team members all across the organization to step up and kind of help lead the charge along with us so that it's a whole community doing it. That's been really exciting. But for me, again, it's looking for that community of others to kind of help uplift. You know, I say sometimes it's exciting to finally have a seat at the table, but I think what's most important that I've learned very quickly is how do you slide over and make room for others? Mm. I think that's how you keep from feeling very lonely in those spaces, is to quickly uh, slide over and make room. And I think often people don't do that because there's this sense of competition, someone's gonna come along, maybe there's only room for one of us, mm -hmm. and I don't think that's true. I think um, it's really important that we allow others that look like us and don't look like us, you know, add value. That is what diversity is. And then allowing those voices to be heard is, is really how you create an inclusive culture. I love that. You gave me goosebumps, actually. You just kind of, I kind of withdrew. Slide over <laughs> and make room. I love that. Slide over, make room, reach back, pull up, do exactly. anything you can. Lifting as we climb. Lifting as we climb. I love that. Tell me about all the, the, the variety of roles and where you think we have the biggest opportunity to make a difference. Something exciting about this role in particular is I report right now directly to the CEO, which allows me to collaborate and partner with our supply chain. So we're standing up supplier diversity for the first time in the organization. We've brought in our first ever 100% owned multi, uh, black owned multicultural agency. And they work as a strategic partner for DNI as well as our multicultural um, agency of record. And so working directly with our marketing department, creating a representation in our commercials, making sure that I, I in particular see myself represented. You see yourself represented. You know, everyone loves pizza, mm -hmm. right? And pizza should love everyone. And so I think that's important for us to continue to have that lens. I think historically it's not something we really uh, focused on. And I, you know, I assume positive intent. So I don't believe it's something we intentionally did to exclude. But if you're not intentionally including people, you're unintentionally excluding people. And so I think having those courageous conversations in the organization are very important. Um, and across the entire organization, we always say we want to make sure DNI is embedded in the DNA of the brand. And to do that, it's everyone's responsibility. So while 
Diversity, equity, and inclusion are in my title. It is the responsibility of everyone on the leadership team to implement that. And I think the true DNI officer of the company is the CEO. Real change starts at the top. And on that note, Victoria, thank you so much for bringing your wisdom with you today and sharing that with everyone here. And thank you for joining us on Top of Mind.